Hey everybody, it is Gordon Majak here, back with another episode of Timeless Pop, Rock, and Soul. And this time around, we are going back to January of 1984 for a song that, I guess for all intents and purposes, this was another one-hit wonder, but it sure doesn't feel like it. The song just feels so much bigger and more memorable than that to me uh, when I think back of all that great music there in the early and mid-80s. So here is what we have. Remember this one? You're probably not going to recognize this uh, album cover. You may not even know the band name. I don't, I'm not sure how far out on a limb I'm going here. This is the band Talk Talk, which is, uh, or was, I should say, primarily the duo of Mark Hollis on lead vocals and Tim Freese Green. Um, Talk Talk, the duo, the album It's My Life, and we are going to be listening to the title track. Um, and it was a little bit of a shock, I have to say, here just a little while ago when I looked up some of the back history of this song and how it did on the charts and everything. Uh, it's My Life by Talk Talk in 1984. It only got up to number 31 on the pop chart, not a big hit on the pop chart number one on the dance chart and that was because this song had one of the most killer dance remixes of all time so i'm not surprised by that uh, but only number 23 on the rock chart and only number 46 in the uk and this was an english band so not even much of a big hit uh as even as i'm calling it a one hit wonder i guess it's hit status other than that performance on the dance chart even its hit status may have been a little bit questionable, but here's what's not questionable. If you were watching MTV back there in the day like I was and uh, seeing what MTV was playing for their videos, uh, you got a pretty good dose of this one because this was a very popular video on MTV. But like I have said so many times, when you go back to that 80s uh, sound that came out of the UK there, that new romantic sound and some of those new artists like Martin Fry and ABC, like Boy George and Culture Club, uh, the Psychedelic Furs, as I've mentioned, were a part of that. This is a song that uh, you take those artists, man, this one slots right in there, just like the Roxy music. You can build one heck of a great playlist, and this song is right in the middle of that sound. And to me, um, it's really one of those quintessential sounds of that mid-80s UK movement. But again... I look at the chart performance and the chart performance doesn't seem to back it up. So maybe this is one of those songs that, as I said, if you were watching MTV back there in the day or listening to the the uh, progressive rock station playing some of that 80s wave stuff, maybe you'll remember this one. But I never forgot this one. From 1984 and the It's My Life album, this is the title track. It is Talk Talk and It's My Life. <laughs>
Mark Hollis on the lead vocals, Mark Hollis and Tim Friese Green, the duo of Talk Talk from 1984 there. And um, I guess it wasn't even that big of a hit, but it sure seemed like a big hit to me. You, uh, MTV played the hell out of that song back there. I almost said YouTube played it. Isn't that something? Uh, YouTube has just completely supplanted the whole MTV phenomenon, or I guess... Uh, yeah, wow, blew it apart, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> MTV is what I was going for. MTV played the hell out of this one back there in the day. And as I said, you could put together one heck of a playlist with all the uh, Roxy music and the ABC and the Culture Club and the Human League and the Duran Duran and Psychedelic Furs and Talk Talk. You just go on and on and on. That great UK sound, the new romantic sound from the early and mid 80s. Love that stuff. Do you guys remember this one? Am I crazy? Why is this such an iconic song to me? And I know my sister always loved this one as well. We've talked about this one a million times. It's just one of those songs, I guess, you you either identify with it and that time of life back there in the 80s or maybe you don't. Sure seemed like an iconic 80s tune to me. Shocked to find out that it was not a much bigger hit. But maybe you DJs out there, uh, old DJs like me, maybe you guys remember that remix. Wasn't that dance remix of this one a killer remix? Maybe that's why it got all the way up to number one on the dance chart. Sounded fantastic pumping out in the club. I will bet that, no doubt. Talk Talk and It's My Life Coming back tomorrow, you guys are not going to want to miss tomorrow. I got some really groovy stuff. I've been putting this um, these two artists off for a long time, and I made a resolution today. I'm not putting it off anymore. Come back tomorrow and see what I'm talking about. Some groovy soul jazz. You will love it. See you then. Mm, mm, mm. And we will be back on track, as I said. Back on track, like normal, next Saturday. Saturday triple play is going to be a killer. Don't miss it. See you tomorrow and see you then. It's my life. Great lyrics for this song too, by the way.